Recently, I just found out that the first early action students were admitted for the class of 2022 to Georgia Tech. Now, if you're one of these people, or if you're someone who's hoping to get an acceptance in the next few months, odds are you're probably trying to decide between Georgia Tech and a couple other schools. Now, unfortunately, I can't tell you whether or not Georgia Tech is the right school for you, but I decided I would come up with a list of five questions that I would ask anyone who told me they were considering coming here. When you're thinking about your answers to these questions, make sure you're being honest with yourself about what you want to get out of your college experience. This can be really tough, especially if tech is your dream school, but it's important that you be honest with yourself about all this because it's a really big decision and you wanna make sure you're going to the right college. How much time are you willing to put into your classwork? If you're watching this video, you've probably heard that Georgia Tech is a lot of work. And after three and a half years going to Georgia Tech, I can confirm that this is true. Now, that's not to say that you can't have any sort of work-life balance if you come here, but looking at myself, my work-life balance definitely tends to lean a lot more towards the work side of things and a lot less towards the socializing and having fun side of things. Fortunately, I didn't have too much trouble making the transition from high school into college. I was always pretty busy doing schoolwork and I always studied for everything back in high school. But if you're someone who was able to kind of cruise in high school and you didn't have to study for things, you weren't always doing your homework, this is probably going to be a pretty big shift for you. I'm not telling you that to pass your classes, you need to dedicate your entire life to tech, but if your goal here is to excel and you wanna get good grades, Recognize that you're going to have to put in the time and it is going to be a lot of hard work. What kind of campus experience do you want to have? I mentioned this in a few other videos, but I come from a pretty rural area, so admittedly for me, going to college in Atlanta was a pretty big change. I wouldn't really consider Georgia Tech a city campus. Yes, it is in Atlanta, but you feel pretty isolated from the city parts of it when you're just walking around on campus. But at the same time, it's also very easy just to walk off of campus if you want to enjoy all of the things that Atlanta has to offer. When I first started my college search, I originally thought I wanted to go to a smaller school, maybe a liberal arts school, and as a result, I almost ruled out Georgia Tech right off the bat simply because it was in a city. Looking back, for the most part, I've enjoyed going to college in Atlanta, but obviously Atlanta is still a city and thus it'll be a very different experience than if you go somewhere that's maybe in a smaller college town. Do you care about athletics? Personally, I really don't care all that much about college athletics, but I know that a lot of people do, so I decided that I'd throw this point in here. Georgia Tech is a D1 school, and we have 17 different varsity athletic teams, and Bobby Dodd Stadium and McCamish Pavilion, to me, both seem huge. Then again, my high school only had 800 people, so that's not terribly surprising. From what I can tell, people typically get the most excited about football games, especially when we're playing UGA, and historically, students have a pretty large allocation of free tickets, so if you want to go to games, you're able to. Now, admittedly, I think we're three and six this year, so we're definitely not on top of the ACC, but I also don't think we're terrible when it comes to sports. If you're a potential college athlete, I'm sure you're already aware of all of our programs, but for everyone else, if you happen to be interested in going to games, this is just something to keep in mind. Does Georgia Tech excel at the majors you're interested in? Georgia Tech has a great reputation as an engineering school, as well as some other things like computer science, which is what I study, but admittedly, there's some other disciplines that we aren't that well known for, or we just don't have at all. This probably goes without saying, but make sure you're researching Georgia Tech specifically for your major, especially if you're undecided or you think you might switch into something else. For example, if you think you want to do something with liberal arts, realistically, Georgia Tech probably is not your best bet. This point is probably most applicable to in-state students. A lot of people in Georgia have their hopes set on coming here, and admittedly, we are great at a lot of different things. Just make sure before you decide to come here that your major happens to be one of them. What are your aspirations after you graduate? This is probably one of the biggest reasons why people come here, and it's because Georgia Tech helps open the door to a lot of great research and job opportunities. Personally, I never did go the research route, but I do feel confident in saying that Georgia Tech helped me secure the three different summer internships that I had while I was in college. Now, colleges are inherently designed to help students secure jobs and further their careers, but Georgia Tech's reputation, rigor, resources, and connections provide students who are willing to take the initiative with a lot of opportunities. That being said, I don't want people to walk away from this video with unrealistic expectations that everyone is getting their dream internships and jobs because that simply is not the case. Georgia Tech, to my knowledge, does not have any sort of requirement that you need to have an internship before you graduate, and a lot of people don't end up having internships or co-ops simply because that wasn't a priority for them or maybe because they just weren't able to land one. But admittedly, for a lot of the student population, job hunting is a borderline obsession and research and internships are definitely a big thing here. All right, if you have any questions about tech, feel free to leave those down below in the comments. And check out the playlist that I've made where I've detailed a lot of my different experiences of being a student at Georgia Tech. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. I really do appreciate it. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for new videos every single week. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.